I'm freeholder Lillian Burry, and I'm here today with Teresa and Matt Reed of uh, Beyond Organic Growers. And uh, we are here to talk about Monmouth County's very first restaurant week, which will take place on July 28th through August 4th. And um, if the people would like a little bit more information, they can go to our webpage, which is www.growninmonmouth.com. And uh, we are also talking about our Grown in Monmouth program. Now, uh, Teresa, it's a delight and Matt for me to be here. And uh, this is one beautiful farm. And I refer to really these columns that I'm looking at, which are remarkable. I uh, want to thank you for having me here. We had discussed the fact that, yes, it is located in Freehold uh, by way of the post office, right? And, but, yes. yeah, but the tax map says Howell. Anyway, I, uh, I uh, would like to know uh, how has the Grown and Monmouth program assisted your business, if it has? Um, well, Grown and Monmouth was created, I think, around the same time that we opened. So I met John Chufo a couple of years ago. And um, he came walking in the door one day, s explaining the Grown and Monmouth program to me, and I just felt it was an amazing program because it's helping us to get promoted and letting people know what's going on with the farmers out there. And there is some conflicted information, I think, about what's considered local. And so the Grown and Monmouth logo will let everyone know that the product you are eating is grown right here. And it tastes so much better when it's local and fresh and harvested daily. <clears throat> you talk about growing. Now, you have columns of plants here, unlike what you normally expect on a farm. Yes. And um, it's really quite fascinating. I had first asked if it was hydroponic, but you explained it wasn't. It has a it's different... aeroponics. Okay. And could you tell us how this works? The arrow is just the, the vertical instead of horizontal would, would be hydroponics. Um, and it's probably the most efficient way at, to grow for the future. And you, and you just reminded me about that. So it's 90% less land and 90% less, less water. water. Wow. If you wanted to, to take all these plants and put them out in the farm, it would take over 50 acres, and we're able to do that really? within a half acre right here. That's amazing. So it's what the way of the future, and we're just happy to, to show everybody. I think Teresa told me earlier you have about 5,000 plants. Is that right? 15,000. Excuse oh, me, 15,000. 15,000 5, seedlings. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. That was yeah. my, my mistake. Yep. <laughs> my 5, goodness. Seedlings. Well, it, it is certainly a unique way to at least the average person, this type of farming. But it allows you to grow produce all year round. Isn't that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. you're not affected by inclement weather, no. storms. <laughs> no, we've, nope. we've made it through it all. We've had, we've had three snowstorms here, crazy winds that whip across the field, and we're, we're, we're still here. So. Well, great. Yeah. So are you excited about our very first Monmouth County uh, uh, restaurant week that will be coming up, as I had mentioned? So uh, you Absolutely. will be obviously participating, but that's not new to you. When did you start working with the uh, restaurants in, uh, in the area? Well, we started first with Delicious Orchards. They were our first customer. Yep. Um, and then we went to Metropolitan Cafe. We met with Rob Cash. and. He was on board immediately. Rob was like, I would love to have fresh produce a mile down the road from my best idea. Not yes. the idea, but he kind of cemented our belief that this is yeah. what's needed around. And, you know. Once we knew the restaurant, that someone like Rob would be interested in it, we decided to go big. Yeah, Instead of growing just a little greenhouse, we grew this big one. Um, yeah. But um, I think the, the Grown and Mom Restaurant Week is really important because. It's all about local ingredients and being picked fresh daily and harvested. And all the restaurants who participate in this program, you know they're buying locally. So the food's going to be, well, the produce side of it's going to be really good. 
Well, it's been good for you, but you've helped the restaurants as well, haven't you? Absolutely. By and everything we sell in here is is live. So yeah, the waste it's is live. minimal, and a lot yeah. of you know that's that's one of our biggest uh, selling points to restaurants. Is you know you're not throwing out, you don't have to worry about throwing out this lettuce after two to three days. You know, it's it's efficient, and that's that's what we're that's what we're all about. Well, I can attest to that because it wasn't too long ago that I went into Delicious Orchards and I bought bib lettuce that wasn't grown the conventional way. Uh -huh. There was no soil on its roots and uh, was wonderful, wonderful. So I frankly congratulate you in doing this and uh, you are pioneers, truly. In my mind, you are. And uh, we thank you, really, uh, the Ronan Mammoth Program and... Uh, you you are excellent ambassadors so thank you again for having me here thank you